are poking around uh, trying to chase them off and hopefully with the flames that should be enough although these engineers are quite wounded I'm gonna take a peek back over here because we do have some infantry moving up on this medic bunker Kotzmeyer's Volk Grenadiers running away checking back over here and it looks like uh, maybe they even burned to death yeah I think he was a little distracted there much as I am infantry uh, taking some more parting shots and I do like that he's being at least a little bit cautious and he's not just bolting right away and he's kind of fighting to see if he can get anything done a uh, little indecisive with this machine gun team he could have definitely set it up here and and walk backwards towards it uh, but meanwhile just kind of keeping them guessing on all fronts uh, I do love how Automat is is uh, taking advantage using the most of his uh, riflemen whenever he can just to kind of you know attack from multiple directions at once that's really the only thing you can do against uh, machine guns when you don't have too many other options so uh, unfortunately now this is exactly all you need to do really in this situation is just set yourself up with the heavy cover right along the edge of this bridge of doom here and uh, there's really no way to cap this point until you can clear this bridge so he's gonna have some trouble there I uh, meanwhile just gonna kind of uh, recoup his losses and just you know kill a bunch of medics take out his aggression on the uh, medical staff out here uh, looks like the Greyhound armor car took a single shot maybe he's gonna have to do a little bit of micro and reverse back around again uh, killing one of the gunners taking some party shots and the rest of the gunners go down so um, I'm not really sure I agree with this technique here I would much rather see so you see he's, he's saying well we're screw this pack we're gonna get some free XP and destroy this this will take forever but the rate of fire of a Greyhound and these guys would be so much easier look he's trying to cap this point pick this up Take the remaining three guys, cap this point, then retreat them home to resupply. Back this pack away slowly, and use this Greyhound armor car to maybe, you know, lay some uh, Greyhound mines, fight off these machine guns. But instead, he's spending a lot of time shooting this pack, and uh, he really should, uh, you know, there are better ways to deal with that. But, you know, I, I have full map knowledge here. He doesn't, so it's a little unfair of me to kind of criticize too much. But uh, it looks like he's retreating out of here with these guys. They were a little bit pinned, but again, I'm not sure they had to retreat. Now here come the Bazooka Joes. Now we want to get out of here with the Greyhound. Oh, taking one uh, Panzer Shrek right in the back. And it uh, looks like he's going to be able to get out of range uh, without getting any sort of damaged uh, armor. <laughs> sorry, damaged motor or anything like that. So a little bit of a gunfight going on here. Oh, part and shot there, but... Uh, Still doing okay. Gonna just hold on to this point here with his rifleman. With good cover and, and uh, having control of the area, uh, the Browning automatic rifle upgrade will be uh, pretty advantageous. But uh, looks like this heavy machine gun team is just set up in a nice position here. The medics are continuing to pick people up. And uh, now everybody's pinned. Uh, we just had a casualty. And oh, look at that! Lucky shot just kills the front gunner. Uh, that's kind of the thing you're always hoping for and never actually happens and for the most part these guys are probably just going to sit here pinned for quite a bit. Uh, meanwhile, Medic Bunker is sitting up here. It looks like this is potentially a uh, pretty good setup here. Uh, you can see that Automed is very, very clever about always kind of trying to flank around and attack from the other side. We do have a half track on the field. Uh, great, great positioning here. I do want to see him resupply this machine gun team. Looks like he's right on top of that. Uh, the pack has already been taken control of. And see, this is what I'm talking about. He moved up with a bunch of uh, Volksgrenadiers, picked up the pack, and is now resupplying through the half track. In fact, he's just going to pick up that last last guy and move along with it. So uh, looks like we had another attempt maybe at getting in here. I think uh, there was a mine placed. <laughs> yep, there was a mine placed in the gap that we cut last time the engineers were down here. And uh, those poor engineers just found those mines. So... Meanwhile, taking a look around, getting some field repairs going on uh, for that Greyhound. And he's now back teched and getting a sniper out. So we're going to have to see where this is going. The medic tent is up. Sorry, triage center. I should start calling things by their appropriate names whenever I can. Uh, so... Uh, one thing I really like about Automat is that uh, in order to make up for the fact that he kind of needs to, you know, the, the armor commanders ha have to stall for a little while. Uh, like I said, they don't have big artillery. They don't have all sorts of, like, crazy kill unit abilities they can use early game. They just kind of have to make do with standard, uh, you know, vanilla coho units, more or less. Obviously, they have hero units. Obviously... You know, what I just said isn't entirely true. But kind of in general, uh, before they get calliopes and perchings and all that sort of stuff, uh, they have to make do uh, with what they can get. Wham! Just that's the, the quick way to take down a <laughs> take down a barbed wire field anyways. So what I do like about Automed's playstyle here is he's, that he's getting a little bit of everything. Uh, and he's just kind of using all of his units to the best ability. And you see a lot of harmony in his... Uh, 
army balance and things like that. And uh, it looks really nice. It looks really nice on paper, and it looks really nice in practice. So uh, I've got to commend him on that. Meanwhile, Markelet has got a really dominating presence here. This is the kind of army you don't want to have to go up against. And this is why I'm so happy to see that we've got things like snipers out here, because, of course, snipers do well against machine guns, you know, so he can kind of counter different parts in the army at different times. One thing I would really... Whoa! It looks like that gunner accidentally hit the ejection button here, so he's going to have to retreat uh, this Greyhound armor car and get some uh, reinforcements. And I like the fact that Markelet has identified that he has just created a huge problem for uh, Automed by almost killing that Greyhound. And that was the only thing keeping him from advancing, so he's advancing. He's just going to push right on up now and basically call him on it. And bam, here we go with the Lee's HMG team uh, taking up the position on the road. This is a similar Bridge of Doom here. And this is the combo you want to see. You've got a sniper backed up by a suppressing uh, heavy machine gun. Makes it really hard for people to uh, advance upon a, a sniper, even when they know where he is, if they're getting pinned by uh, HMG team. So a uh, very powerful combination here. Good to see him using it. And this is the kind of harmony I'm talking about, is he's just using a lot of units and using them well and he doesn't need commander abilities at this point uh, to play really well and to play really effectively so that's one of the many things that stood out to me about this replay uh, half track backing up here with the uh, gunners on it and all that looks like he was just forced retreated and I'm not sure if I gave Markelet uh, proper credit for all of his unit abilities so let's take a look here we've been looking plenty at Automed and I'm very biased you know like I said I play armor so I love just kind of looking at other armor players but terror is also the thing that I like playing I do have a terror uh, German account so uh, we'll see he does have blackout which is a really powerful ability and I'm not even really sure how well that comes through on replays honestly it might be a hard thing to pay attention to but uh Firestorm Rocket Barrage, beautiful ability there. V1 Rocket, really good when you can afford it. it it's amazing in, in the right circumstances. Uh, Force Retreat, as you can see, is on cooldown. And, of course, the King Tiger. Gigantic, gigantic tank action. So, going to switch on back to Ottoman here and just keep an eye out for what's going on. This sniper is doing a good job. Last time I looked at him, he had three kills. Now he's got six kills. Uh, not a bad idea, by the way, if you do have a sniper on you, to just go ahead and jump in a building. That's one of the times I really love being in buildings. One of the times. There's plenty of times I love being in buildings, but uh, snipers tend to have a much harder time shooting people out of buildings. I'm not saying they can't, but, you know, normally they're like 90 or plus accuracy, but in a building, sometimes it feels like 50-50, so it's not too bad. But uh, these riflemen here are getting a little bit ambitious here. I think that was just kind of a blunder on his part. I think he had no idea there was this huge army just kind of hanging back here with all this machine gun support and all that sort of stuff. Meanwhile, the sniper is doing a great job, just kind of, you know, doing his thing. These guys will pay themselves off in the long run, and uh, oh, and we're going to go ahead and activate uh, armor bounty once again as this uh, Greyhound is going to move on up. And unfortunately, it looks like he does have a pack moving up. Uh, Markelet, by the way, uh, si similar sort of situation. He's he's really making good use of all units here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the Greyhound is kind of harassing around here a little bit. And, uh, you know, I would just love to see more Greyhound mines. That's one minor, minor criticism here, is that he's got so much ammunition. As I pointed out before... Uh, if you look, oh my god, in the half track with the quad 50 cals. Um, if, if you uh, look at the minimap once again real quick here, you can see he just has a dominating position here, which gives him access to a lot of mu munitions. Uh, he should be planting gray Greyhound mines everywhere. They, ju they just kill everything. They're wonderful. So, uh, unfortunately, it looks like the half track is getting sniped off by this uh, Pack 38 anti-tank gun over here, and kaboom! It does get taken out. I tried to back up a little bit and got awkwardly stuck. Meanwhile, Lee's HMG team level 4 is kind of sitting around here in this building, and what was that? Was that another sniper? I heard it. There he is right here. So, uh, Markalet. Um, <laughs> Markatlet. I, I really hope I'm putting the right emphasis on the syllables in his name. But, uh... Nice little firestorm here, but unfortunately, these riflemen were just really intent on just keeping on moving, so it didn't even really matter that they were there. Uh, but as you'll see, they come out here once again and are just a little bit too surprised by the amount of uh, suppression they're receiving and are actually probably going to have to retreat. And so therefore, this late firestorm is actually not that bad because to some extent, it's going to get a couple of passing kills on them and they have to run through fire. So, you know, he does have this kind of uh, scorched earth uh, damage over time effect by running over that. So, um... That's just really pretty. Again, just going to take a moment just to appreciate some of the nice graphics in this game. Ah, little burning embers, little fire. Look at me being amazed by blinking pixels. Sorry about that. A little bit autistic, but uh, moving right along. So uh, we do have Markelet grabbing the center point here, grabbing it with the machine gun team. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. That is a grenadier team. Greyhound armored car. Heading back out again, looking to uh, kind of poke around on the flank. Let's take a look inside the base. 
resupplying all of our infantry. Uh, he did, like we saw early on, he went straight for grenades, but then he did grab the uh, Browning automatic rifles. And I'm pretty sure he's got sticky bombs at this point in the game. He might not, but he's definitely going to get them. HN, uh, HMG team up here hasn't moved at all. And uh, again, you see this powerful combination of sniper and machine gun team. And uh, really, really, the sniper and machine gun team really helps you capitalize on the... Uh, you know, the interaction between those units. Let's take a look and see what this uh, Greyhound is up to right now. He's sneaking around back, but whoa, he bumps right into a pack. And uh, he's just going to kind of try and calm on his bluff a little bit and see if he can't maneuver around here. But uh, <coughs> unfortunately, in these close quarters, uh, he's just kind of just lumbering around, trying to squeeze around. And by the time that he actually gets around here, I think Mark Catlett is going to know exactly what's up. And he turns the Greyhound. Oh, he turns the pack around on the Greyhound. And oh, everything gets killed. We got uh, Panzer Shreks taking shots. Uh, so, unfortunately, again, a little over ambitious. Uh, there was really no need to do that. <coughs> there are better ways to take out uh, packs when they have such a positional advantage than by trying to be clever. But, <coughs> big infantry ball moving along here. We've got three rifleman squads, one of them is Vet 2. Meanwhile, we do have a ton of grenadiers up here, backed up by some uh, Kotzen Meyers Volks grenadiers. Uh, these engineers are really going to have to back up. It's great that they have flamethrowers, but uh, they really do need to move out of here. You can see, once again, Mark Hatlet uh, being clever with his barbed wire. Unfortunately, uh, all this fencing is gone here. I don't even know if it was there to begin with. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, and it just got broken, but um, all that fencing is gone, so really that barbed wire doesn't do too much good, but uh, I like the idea behind it. Again, uh, not intent, <laughs> not content to attack on a single front. He is going to attack on a side front as well with his Vet 2 rifleman. Unfortunately, oh, there we go. Was that a hand grenade right on top of the uh, anti-tank gun? So, like I said, there's more effective ways to take out anti-tank guns than uh, you know than just straight up. But uh, really good fight going on here. Really bad fight going on here. But you know, this was a nice little diversionary force. I'm not going to fault him for it. And we do have the reconnaissance jeep. So you'll notice that this is the second hero jeep we've seen. A uh, different type of hero jeep. So the earlier uh, assault jeep that we saw uh, was capable of capturing points. The reconnaissance jeep is capable of dropping the artillery. So it, it can drop it right at level one. It's, it costs about 100 munitions, but uh, at level five it drops, you know, really effective artillery. Uh, I think it adds an extra shot, something to that effect. But um, so hopefully we'll see. Oh, there is the reconnaissance jeep just ran in, called down a whoo, called down an artillery shot.